Turning now to the Independent Council investigation into Curry's massive power abuse scandal. The presidential office has called off plans for the uh, in person interrogation of the president herself after details of the arrangement were leaked last night. Well, the leak could mean the uh, pivotal event will not happen in early February as anticipated. Huang Wujun reports. The Independent Council team looking into the power abuse scandal has hit a snag. The presidential office of Cheng Wade has slammed the Independent Council team, saying it can no longer be trusted after details of its plan to interrogate President Park were leaked late last night. The team has said during a briefing on Tuesday that it planned to question the president in person sometime around the 10th of this month. Soon afterward, media outlets reported the exact time and place of the inquiry, saying it was scheduled for Thursday within the presidential office compound. As a result, the presidential office is now up in arms. During a phone call with local Yonhap news agency, the presidential office confirmed it has notified the independent council team the in-person questioning will not take place on Thursday and will continue to negotiate future schedules with the team. With the interrogation arrangements are back to square one, the council spokesperson has refused to answer questions about the team's next steps. Regarding the face-to-face -face interrogation with the president, we'll give you the information when the right time occurs. So while you can continue to ask additional questions regarding that issue, we can't give you any confirmation. I'll take other questions now. The Independent Council has been seeking to question President Park in person about what role, if any, she played in a controversial Samsung merger, Samsung's donations to two government-linked foundations, and the creation of a cultural blacklist, as well as her whereabouts on the day of the 2014 Seoul Ho ferry disaster. Chang Wade has been demanding the questioning to be behind closed doors. Meanwhile, the Independent Council team said it will bring in Choi Soon Sil, the jailed confidant of President Park and the woman at the center of the corruption scandal for questioning on Thursday. As Choi's legal team accepted the summons, this time a short-term arrest warrant will likely be unnecessary, as opposed to the past couple of summons when two separate warrants were issued to compel Choi to appear. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.